I'm probably one of those strange people who's really looking forward to the day when the prescriptions or my latest book choice is delivered by drone to my back garden. But I also know that I've got the neighbour's kids down the road with an air rifle who would do nothing more than shoot the thing down. Well, I'm with Toby here. And Toby, your company is going to solve that problem for me. Tell me about your new technology. Yeah, so it's called Safe Flight, um, and we've developed this concept to do exactly what you said, really, to protect uh, the delivery drones from being brought down by somebody with a laptop and a coat hanger, or, uh, as you say, with a BB gun or a laser, um, so that you know deliveries get to where they need to go. And so the, the, when we were looking at the concept, it was really thinking about um, the market for, for drones is very much around counter UAVs and stopping drones and, and therefore jamming them or using nets to bring them down and things like that. But what we were, we sort of thought, well, what about actually a, a drone that couldn't be jammed? So we developed Safe Flight as a concept, which we've filed our patent for. And, and the idea with that is that it has a number of navigation systems built into it. So it has GPS, it has optical, it can also bounce off cell towers. And the idea then is that it can switch to any of those navigation systems if it's interfered with in any way. Uh, the shell is then is made by is made of titanium, um, so small arms fire um, and uh, lasers will just bounce off it. So in, it, you're protecting your deliveries. And exactly what you said there is, it's about making sure that your delivery delivery systems are safe, uh, and that's uh, you know it, it's it's got huge benefits not just for the end user but also for you know the likes of Amazon, DHL, UPS, and and from a military perspective as well that your stuff gets to where it needs to go, um, and uh, and the whole thing has um, proper resilience the whole system um, because it would only take one of those to land on the M4 and then the whole thing's out of the question um, and if you're the CAA you're probably going to want to have these mitigation systems built in certainly some reassurance that these things can't be brought down so easily so there's a whole bunch of benefits there okay Toby can I can I ask you a question then that, that that's great for the for the good of what we're doing what about the evil of what we're doing you know small packages being dropped into prisons or even worse used in terrorism issues how do you stop your technology getting into the hands of the people who don't want to be jammed for the wrong reasons? Well, we're going to have to be very clever around who is allowed to buy it. Um, I mean, it's, it, it's like any technology, really. It could be used in, 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 uh, in wrong ways, if you like. Um, and I know the prisons, for example, are taking all the other mitigation steps around using you know, netting above the prison line and things like that to stop, to stop drone deliveries. Um, so it's really about understanding the mitigation and the risk, therefore, as well. So our, um, our ethos is very much around do no harm. That's one of our values. So absolutely, we want to make sure that happens. I think the trick is going to be around licensing and things like that to actually make sure that only licensed authorities are going to be able to buy this technology in the, in the first place. Brilliant. Toby, thank you. And a message for the kids next door. Just try it and make my day.